Is there a .NET library that you want to use in your Godot 4.2 project, but you just don't know how to add it? Don't worry, I got you covered. Let's get into it. Let's go through the steps of adding a C Sharp library to your C Sharp Godot 4 project. So step number one, find a library you want to use. Uh, in my case, I'm using yaml.net. I want to parse, uh, serialize, deserialize YAML files, which is not supported natively in Godot 4. So rather than write that functionality myself, I'm going to use a library. That way I get the support and all the wins of having to use someone else's code. And here is the GitHub page, which leads me to step two, checking for compatibility. So I scroll down here, you can see I have, I actually already have it highlighted, but it supports .NET 7. Godot 4 C Sharp projects are using .NET 7 or .NET 8. And they're using a feature called Native AOT, which is a way it bundles all of the .NET bits into a single executable to be used. Um, that's probably really a gross simplification of everything, but that is kind of a critical piece. And not all .NET libraries necessarily need to support Native AOT. It's a very new feature. So you want to see if they have .NET 7 support at the very least, and then from there, uh, we can see if it works in our project and see if it supports native AOT directly. Always go through the documentation for any library you're adding because you, if you're adding code to your project, you're still responsible for it, whether you wrote it or not. So keep that in mind. Step three, add it to your project. So I have Godot 4.2.1 installed with the C Sharp and Mono bits, all that kind of woven together. I have .NET installed. I'm not gonna go over all of that. I'm gonna assume you have a C Sharp project that you wanna add a, a .NET library to. So when I open up my project, you can see here, it just pops it right into the YAML file where I left it. This is what I wanna parse and ser deserialize specifically. And if I bring over to the code, just gonna pop open VS Code. You can see here, I've actually got this all set up, but uh, it'll take a second here, but you'll see it's actually not working. I broke the project beforehand to show you that it's not working. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the .NET CLI, which is installed with .NET, .NET add package yaml.net. So adding it to my project. You can see here it actually goes through nuget.org to pull it because I'm not referencing anything local. But if you do have that, you can just reference it yourself and add it to your from your own project. And the, what it actually does underneath the hood is actually just changing the csproj file, which actually creates the reference for us. Step four, use it. So use the library. You can see here, I'm not gonna go over how I'm using yaml.net, but I do have it referenced as a using, and I start using it down here. I use the library. Again, this project is in the description below, so if you wanna see how I'm using this, go ahead, but that's not the point of this video. Point is, it's actually working. And now that I have it working, I'm gonna run a build. So we're gonna do .net build, and it's restoring all projects, build succeeded, go back to Godot, I can run a build in here as well, building my .NET project, no issues. And then let's run it to make sure it actually works. You can see here, it's actually parsing all that data and it's just displaying some basic stuff here from that, that file. So it's just, again, nothing too fancy, but it is using uh, an external, uh, an external C Sharp library and it does what I need it to do. And so huzzah, we're all ready to go. So just to recap, step one, find the library, Step two, check for compatibility. Like I said, we're looking for .NET 7 or .NET 8 compatibility. And more specifically, we wanna know that it supports a native AOT. Now, again, if it doesn't say that specifically, it's probably a good chance, but if they specifically say it doesn't support it, you're gonna be out of luck for your Godot 4.2 project because that's how this whole thing works. Uh, step three, add it to your project, right? .NET add package, package name. In my case, it was yaml.net. Uh, step four, use the library. Step five, build it and run it. That running bit, that actually lets you know that it's actually gonna work and now we know that it's running underneath the hood with native AOT, my C Sharp project's working and that's what we got to see. Uh, that's all I got to say for now. So hope this video helped some people out. I know that the previous video before from back in the day helped a lot of people be getting a lot of comments and views on it. So I just wanted to refresh that content and see how you do it in .NET for, or Godot 4.2.1. In the meantime, have yourselves a pleasant day and or evening and take care.